Hey, what's up, guys? How about uh, the Keep Tour? What is going on, guys? Welcome back. I'm Hector, and in today's video, we're gonna do a collection tour. Yes, I'm also being part of a scavenge hunt with Rocky Mountain Spider Freak and other uh, YouTubers, and they asked me to place a question. And the question is, which of my animals inspired my logo? Stay until the end of the video to see the answer. First, I'm gonna start with what I have here in the table right now, which is mostly juveniles and some sub-adults. And then we're gonna check out this whole shelf that I'm gonna have to pull out some stuff because some of it is underneath there, you cannot see it. And hopefully we'll get a glimpse of Azula, my fire skink. Uh, she's, she's always too shy to come out. But who knows, maybe it's, it's getting late. It's about half six, seven o'clock p.m. here in Ireland. And that's more or less the time when she comes out to feed. So hopefully she'll be out. So we're gonna start with my uh, juvenile Davos Pentaloris, which it's hidden right, right there. I don't think we can, she recently molted as well, so I don't think luring her will be, um, will work. Let's see if we can get the camera right here. There she is, little Davos Pantaloris. It's one of my favorite uh, looking tarantulas because of all the black and orange, and the tiger stripes. It's just a really, really cool species. Now, moving next, we have another of my favorite species. I think I said that a lot. But Hookers. Oof. I need to improve these locks. It's my Brachypelma Emilia. She, I spotted the mold yesterday. And well. I tried to sex her and appears to be a male. So I will know for sure Wait. in the next mold, the bigger she gets or he gets. Mm, moving next, we'll have a species that I featured already in a previous video, a tarantula care video. It's for me to boost atricomatus and I'm just gonna take a straw, bamboo straw. Try to, yeah, let's pick it up just so you can see, actually see him. I'm completely sure that it's a male as well. Come on, little guy. Oh, yeah. Got very lanky, no? Let's keep moving. So we make this video a quick video. Now one speci species that I don't see featured in many collections, or at least on YouTube, is Holotele longipes, previously known as Holotele sanguiniceps. And Turn it was 
kann was looten. Sorry to bother you. I just want to have a good look at you. That's all. There we go. Dark species, but to be honest, it falls into the medium range of being a dwarf species because it's fairly large. It's about, I'd say, four inches, five inches, more or less. Also, really cool coloration. Uh, against proper light, that's, you can see an iri iridescent um, or iridescent. I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. You can tell me down in the comments. Um, you can see the, the abdomen just changes color like a rainbow, which is really cool. And the orange coloration is awesome too. Big girls. He's supposed to be a female as well, but I'm not so sure now that she that he molded because it looks like the mold looks like male. And I know it got it got a bit too big for the enclosure, which takes me to the next video, will be a rehouse enclosure. And as you can see here in the background, I have a, a tank, 20 liter tank, more or less. I think it's more, I'm not very sure about the measure. I will put it down somewhere here. And this tank is for my frog top. And top is a white tree frog that is being kept in a small tank. It's not small for her right now, but it will be too small for her later. So I've been building up this big boy for a few weeks now and it should be ready for, for next, next week's video. So here or, or him will be getting another enclosure as well, which is where I'm currently keeping top. Acanthus cutaginiculata, really cool uh, feeding res uh, response from them all the time, never lets down. They like to dig, easy to keep. Now here I have another tarantula that I featured in a previous video here in the in the in the keep. But sadly, she uh, she closed her enclosure, uh, her hive, and it's Tliltocatl vagans. Do uh, you remember how to pronounce it? Tliltocatl vagans. So we move on. I can improve those locks. I feel like I'm gonna lose them all the time. Or like I'm, I'm mixing them all the time because sadly I make them <laughs> I make them different size and kind of a for each enclosure and every enclosure has a different size of lock. So up next we have Chromatopelma cyanopubescens and it's also one of my favorite species because, well, you can see it, the, the enclosure is all webbed up. Oh, look at that. She's a mad spider. Honestly, yeah, that's just a feeding response because I haven't fed her. Well, I haven't fed them in a couple of days. And I was waiting for them to be I was waiting for to record a feeding video with uh, with most of them, but then since half of my spiders, half of my tarantulas just decided to molt this week, so I'm gonna have to postpone that. But I'm gonna feed the other ones. Maybe I'll do some small clips just for each each one of them. Now I put back. I just put back the the tarantula that I had here on the table and let's move on to on, onto the shelf, right? And I'm gonna start with... Hmm, I'm gonna start with the small enclosures that I have here, which are a few. So, we have here 
Nando Chromatus Slain Very small to be honest Wait. I think you can see it over there It's right here Get in. Uh, queremos toda la pulcripes, sling as well. I really need to get a macro lens. Anyway, queremos toda la pulcripes is here. And trinopelmas asimai. This girl is always, oh boy, it's always down there. I think you can see it moving. A very slow growth. Uh, Tarantula. I thought it'd be faster. It's been a year since, since I got it. And in here I have Trinoculus morinus. Super shy to the light, very sensitive, as many of you will know. If you have ever keep one, you know that it won't it won't come out. It doesn't even come out to, for feeding. Like I I've never seen it hunting anything. I would just drop the, um, I would just drop, drop the cricket or the worm, the mealworm, and and see it disappear eventually. Moving on, this is one of the smallest inhabitant inhabitants of the keep, and it's a tiny, tiny scorpion. over there just move species is Cadillus simirmani and it's commonly known as Malaysian bush scorpion bush bush yeah, yeah, there. I'm gonna put up a picture of uh, the tiny scorpion, which, by the way, his name is or its name is Tiny Tony. And yeah, because I couldn't reach him with the camera properly. So next we have Caribena versicolor sling, and you can see. She webbed everything. Hopefully she's getting ready to mold because it'd be really cool to see her bigger. I can wait for this length to grow. So let's keep moving, keep moving. Now here, now this one, this one is a bit tricky because she's hypersensitive to light and I never, and she's super fast, so I'm not very comfortable with poking in, around in the enclosure. So let's see if she will have some response. Push it, push it here a little bit, push it, push. See how she responds, because honestly I haven't seen her since she molted, and I know for sure it's a female. See, you can you can just see that it's just taking out legs, and because of the light, she won't, she doesn't would come down, come out. Sorry. Oh well. Species is the uh, the Pinocchinius violaceus, and if I get to take a picture of her, I'm gonna put it here, like right now. But I doubt I doubt I will. She's so always so elusive. The ever elusive Tapinokinis violaceus. Moving on, Theria ornata. And I know there is a debate on how to pronounce the um, this name. If it's either uh, Pochiloteria, Pietiloteria, uh, I don't. I'm not very sure. I'm not linguistics. Neither. Um, how do you call the people that do the taxa on them? Huh, let's, let me see if I can gently get her out. 
Well, I hope you can see it because of these malditos holes and the letters in here that I messed up when I was doing the enclosure. Uh, cannot really let you see. So let's move on. Let's move on to the next one. And it's my Terinoclus lugardi. I don't know if you can see it there. I guess you do. It's been it's been it's been down there for a while, and I was hoping to see uh, to see her molt um, like a month ago or something. But she decided to just be in there, and her entrance is not uh, blocked all the way. You can see it has some stuff in there, but it's not blocked. I sometimes I see her. She comes up a little bit, just the legs, and. She goes right back in into the enclosure. She's not been feeding. Like, she's not been prone to feed. Let's see if we can poke her out. Let's just try again because this is not a tarantula you want to piss off. But look at her. She went behind the throne. But I guess I'm just gonna let her be because even though I'm confident about not getting beat uh, by any of them, I just don't wanna piss her off. So let's keep going, no? Now here I have my beautiful and recently molted as well. Lacidora Parajibana. This girl, I know, I, I don't know where is she. Oh, I can see it. Let's see if I can poke you into the light. There we go, look how beautiful black is. No, I don't want to take her mouth and cause her to bite a little. That's true because, because she just molted and that would be bad for her pants. So I'm just gonna let her be right there and move on. Now here we have Phonopelma simani. She's always she's always so calm, except when I accidentally bomb into the shelf and she just started bolting. But she's one of the calmest uh, um, or more chill tarantulas that I have. She's she can be quite skittish, but she has never thrown a tread posture or anything, not even not even kick hair. Oof. Actually forgot about this one because it was next to me. Um, I'm not so sure if I'll be able to get her out as well, but this is some of pills um, can be gay. And she just made a massive corking inside this, this bark. And I'm guessing she's getting ready for a, a mold soon. And the problem with these enclosures, with the wrap last enclosures, are so ugly. But um, they are practical, is that you can't see through them very well. And because I silicone there, all that you can see, which makes it look 
even more awful. But Tarantula is enjoying it. And I guess that's what it counts, no? That's what matters. Anyhow, let's move on. Let's keep going, keep going. Now this big bad boy, it actually disappointed me because when I bought it, I was told they was they weren't sure it was a female, but they told they said to me that most likely to be a female. But then, and then the next. The, the next mold after that didn't show much and this week I just got a mature Petsiloteria Regalis which is okay, it's cool still it's, it's still down, down there in the behind the web curtain And usually he's calm. He, he's always been calm. I even handle it once, almost by accident. It, I was cleaning and then he burst outside and he stopped right in my hand and then walked on my arm. Which was kind of cool because it's a pokey, right? So. Three animals to go, and then you get your answer. I'm gonna show you real quick my frog top because she will take less space in on the table. Just gotta find her. Top was right there. Top is right there. Let's just turn this. top and she's um, she was sleeping when I started uh, recording but because of all the movement she got awake and now well I had to show you she's by far one of my favorite pets in here because she's always so active You can see her right there. She's looking at the camera. She's looking straight at you. And she's always hungry. She just wants to eat. She's an eating machine. She has that face that everybody has when they woke up. Okay, top. I'll see you later. Let's get the big girl. And this is my Nando Tripepi, um, mature female. She mature used the, the last mold, previous mold, about a month ago. She is by far one of the most calm tarantulas I've ever seen and I've ever got to work with. Um, now, I know my, my channel is still small and I don't have many tarantulas with me here, but previously I kept way more of this and I had to give out my collection because I moved out from Mexico. Ooh, did you stop recording? Well, here we are now, restarting again. And now, unfortunately, unfortunately we don't get to see Azula today because well, she is dug, dug up, dug in the substrate and I don't like to startle her. I'm still in the process of he, her trusting me and doing that wouldn't help that, like, how would you feel if somebody just opens up your house and takes you from there to show to your friends or to someone?
but here we are last stop and the answer to the for, to the question for the um, scavenger hunt giveaway with Rocky Mountain Spider Freaks you remember the question was which of my pets inspire my logo and and that is and that is Bruce my Pandius Imperator Scorpion or Emperor Scorpion right and I rescue Bruce from um, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna name I'm not gonna give out names but I rescued Bruce from a really bad pet store uh, here that I found out it was it was kept in really bad condition luckily the score uh, Bruce was uh, um, healthy enough the store clerk said that it eats all the time and blah 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 but the way they were keeping it was awful so I had to I had to get it I get it I had to get it off from their hands and it's been always so interesting to keep this scorpion or to keep him particularly he's my first ever scorpion and he's just muddy moody not muddy he's just very moody he's very angry all the time he likes to fight he normally fights with the tongues And always, every time I open here, the enclosure, he tries to escape. Oh, you can see him, he's already in pause, attacking pause. Boop. Okay, Bruce. Be a good boy and stay there. So you got your answer. Which, which of my pets inspire my logo? And that's him, Bruce, my, pet, my Emperor Scorpion. And I hope you like the content of this video. If you like, if you did like and like and subscribe, comment something. And um, horns up, guys! Big shout out to Rocky Mountain Spider Freaks, and I'll see you next week. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? So because we didn't get to see Azula, I'm just gonna put a picture of her right now because she's so beautiful and I want to see her. I always forget this. If you want constant updates, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. I will have links in the description and I'll see you in the next video.